Hello and welcome to the Story Shed on this, the sixth day. That's right, the sixth day of Dragon Week. And if you've been following us, thank you very much. We have a lot of material on the storyshedblog.com that's dragon related. Dragon games, dragon foods, um, information about making a dragon costume. And hopefully tomorrow, our dragon costume here will have been made by our special art department. Or as I like to call her, Jane, uh, because she's, she's my very artistic friend. She's been very kind and very helpful. And hopefully the thing will be finished by tomorrow and I'll be wearing it in our garden. Um, and hopefully not hunted down because I look like a dragon. Maybe. But in the meantime, I have a poem for you. And it's based on a song that was around a long time ago called Puff the Magic Dragon. And Puff the Magic Dragon, the song, there's a link on the, the website at thestoryshedblog.com. So you can look for it there if you've not heard it, and it's a brilliant song. I have written a poem because at the end of the song, Puff just vanishes, he disappears, he fades out. And, and I've never liked that. I don't like it because I like Puff the Dragon. And uh, so I've written this poem, and I hope you like it. Sit back, relax. And I will read it for you now. Puff the magic dragon retired himself to Leith. Visited the dentist to get some plastic teeth. In the song he vanished like a puff of smoke. He was just invisible, wearing magic cloak. Went around the country looking for a home. Difficult to find a place as he ain't a gnome. Then one day he found it as he moved ahead. This will be mine home now were the words he said. Grass and trees and playgrounds there upon the links. Lay himself upon the grass to take forty winks. Waking in the morning it was some surprise as the people watched him gracefully arise. This is Leith, you're welcome, said the gathering crowd. To make sure he heard them they said it really loud found him a space portal so that he could hide puts him out of danger if he's ever spied meet with him at sunset every single day puff the magic dragon he'll come out to play but one word of advice if you see him there something that will show that you really care puff now he is older living there in leith if he's feeling hungry, give him liquid beef. And that's my, my poem to Puff the Magic Dragon, who, if you're lucky, you may or may not see him on the links in, in, in Leith. I like that. I like bringing him back. Maybe you two could write a story or a poem or a song or draw a picture of Puff the Magic Dragon. But in the meantime, as I say, it's day seven tomorrow. It's the final day of Dragon Week. And we have a couple of stories coming up. And we have the costume reveal, hopefully. And uh, possibly also some other bits and pieces on the storyshedblog.com. You can write to us at the storyshedblog at gmail.com. That's the storyshedblog at gmail.com. Let us know what you think about what's happened during the Dragon Week, what you would have liked to have had, uh, which would have made it better, and anything that you've enjoyed. And also, you can find us on YouTube, where you can subscribe to the videos, and the channel there is Story Shared Blog. That's Story Shared Blog. If you go to YouTube, you can find us there. Thank you very much for watching this. Take very good care. Be well and safe. And for the time being, Bye-bye. Bye-bye.